Hi, this was meant to be a uh, an opening and a review of the new How to Draw the Marvel Way comic book that's now been serialised. However, as I'm a bit of a buffoon and a noob at this whole thing, uh, this is actually my second take because I screwed it up the first time. So uh, let's have a look. First of all, it's 99p. You can't go wrong for that. In that you get a small uh, one first issue of how to do's. You get a really nice uh, steel straight edge ruler with um, inch measurements. And it, it's got the lines, four centimeters, if you're uh, metric. However, it hasn't got the numbers. That's not an issue. It's, it's got a, a putty rubber. I've already needed it. As, a, as like I say, this is my second take. But the putty rubber is actually really good quality. It does the job and it's pre needed. It's quite nice. You get a, a 0 0.5 uh, fine line pen. A must have for when you're uh, inking. Or a comic book, and you're doing the boxes. I find, and a 2H pencil. Personally, I use a mechanical pencil, but if you're completely new to the art of comic book drawing, this would be useful. And in fact, for the price of 99p, I would say this is an absolute bargain and a must-have for anyone who's into drawing their own comic books. Um, whether you're starting out or you're, you know, even if you're a professional, who doesn't need uh, a putty rubber, fine liners, and a new you know ruler. Obviously, steel rulers they last forever. However, they do tend to get a bit grimy, and the numbers and the the uh, graticals come off. So uh, let's like, take a look at the actual the meat of this article, the comic book. So for those in the know who've been around the block a while, you'll be familiar with the how to draw the Marvel way. It's obviously a new serialization, and uh, now it's in full colour. Uh, like I say, I've already looked through it, because this is an art opening, and it's pretty much the same standard, the same format as the original. You start off with a stick figure. They've simplified the uh, the methodology. So I seem to remember, it used to be you'd, uh, you'd measure it by heads, and then for some reason there'd be... A, so you'd, you'd measure a person as seven or eight heads, but for some reason they'd always be um, uh, a fraction of a head between their neck and their shoulders. But uh, they've done away with that now. It's much more simple and user friendly. Same principles apply. They say the uh, final illustrations have got a more modern feel to them. They've got a much more up to date. Oh, oh. And uh, this doesn't actually come with uh, the pack. This is my drawing on the uh, pull out and keep uh, version. This is simply me copying what's uh, seen in the step by steps. So you get some, so you get some blank pages which to um, try out these techniques. Uh, but you, as you see here, it's a much more modern version of Spider-Man, a lot, lot less seventies than the uh, the paperback. How to draw the Marvel way, and here's uh, some of the various top artists versions of Spider-Man. Now I don't want to be appear to be biased at all, but clearly, as you can see, Todd McFarlane is the greatest Spider-Man artist ever. Like I say, completely impartial there. Uh, and there's uh, some tools of the trade tips on how to use pencil. Oh, there's even a section on the mechanical pencil, like I say, my personal preference. Uh, there's how to draw objects in perspective. Um, so just, uh, just like the original, starting off with cubes, spheres and uh, cylinders. Uh, and a little how to draw Captain America's face. And once again, this is a much more simplified methodology than um, used in the original book and uh, it's interesting that they've gone for this process of course this method they've used only really works if you've got the uh, graph paper that they that 
comes with the book. And there's a finished version of Captain America. And there's a section on um, superhero proportions. So here is what you and I, the normal human, are supposed to look like. Some of us wish. That's the superhero physique. And there's the oversized superhuman physique. It's quite nice. Obviously this is focused mainly on the Incredible Hulk. Oh, and there's an artist profile. And there's some, uh, some, some flyers on what, all the extra things you get if you subscribe. There's the, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, info. Ah, and here's a shot of all the things you can collect if you get every single issue. And then uh, there at the back we can see what to expect next issue. So next issue, how to draw Wolverine. That's going to be a big seller. Everybody loves a bit of Wolvie. And um, the free gifts you get. So uh, just to round up. 99 pence, nice little magazine sized part one step by step on how to draw the Marvel way. A Shredder's ruler, a putty rubber, fine liner, and a pencil. That to me is a bargain.